person you're with. So I get right, that. Right, right. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the third question, our topic rather. Okay. So it is a black man's preference. So Wesley, we most definitely need you for here um, for mm -hmm. this. Um, black man's preference. <laughs> Do you sexually desire yellow bones, chocolate drops, or snow bunnies? And why? And why? And if whatever you choose, mm. tell us why and tell, uh, tell us the reason why you wouldn't choose the other two flavors or type of women. And the reason why I'm asking this question is because um we were, you know, the Danny Lay and the baby, you know, the rapper. Um mm -hmm. personal, well, I, I ain't zipper, but she did a song about yellow bones. He liked yellow bones, you know, because she's uh Dominican or whatever, fair skin. And uh I know she was making the song to get back at his baby mama, Mimi, the um the, the brown skin, you know, mm -hmm. she was just trying to be fun or whatnot. And so everybody like tore into her ass because at first I was like why because i like her as a singer and her material and stuff but she pissed me off when she did that because i was like she's trying to be funny you know but um my thing about it was um i didn't understand why people was getting upset about the yellow bone because like what people were saying brown skin girl um uh, from beyonce and everybody else um embracing the colors and stuff but i would say why get mad at that more of the fact of her trying to be funny about his baby mama or whatever but that's what i feel like <laughs> i think the song was an attack to her not dark skin women i think it was an attack to her right but she was like he, he liked yellow bones but clearly uh no he likes napoleon like because uh his she his baby mama he got a brown skin daughter you know and he has another child that he has not released to the public yet but you know she's gonna be pregnant pretty soon but but mm -hmm. yeah about you so what's, what's your flavor you like yellow bone you like chocolate drops or you like snow blame I like the chocolate drops, you know. Okay, I mean, somebody I don't, got don't, it right, don't, 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 <laughs> don't get don't get it wrong. I don't discriminate against nothing now. But I mean, personally, <laughs> me, I mean, I like white girls. They be looking good, you know, the snow bunny. But I mean, that's that's just not my flavor, you know. That's not for me. So that's not your bone, permanent flavor. Yeah. That's just a temporary flavor. Like you like a little sprinkle of that every night. Nah, I ain't never. That ain't, I ain't. I ain't never had jungle fever. So that. Okay. That okay. Yeah. Said so you never. You never had a white girl. Nah, never. Never. Have nah. they? Have they tried to talk to you? Are but. Oh yeah, of course, of course. It just okay. you know just. Okay, no, well, no that's no why I'm talking about you better no be confident. He said, no of course. I just can't. I <laughs> Baby just girl, can't, it's not a question. I just can't see myself doing it. Right. He said, it. of no course. course. You know, they look good, too. It is what it is. Just I just can't see myself doing it. That's but that's interesting, though, because not to label you or anything. So please don't take offense to this personal and everybody else watching. Don't take, don't take offense to this because guys like to get a dick wet so I, I don't understand like if if she throwing if a snow bunny throwing it at you then it's amazing that you don't take it so like my thing they know how i feel about i just can't do no caucasian person i just because of the history i just can't do it you know but um that's that's admirable that's like amazing that if a white woman is interested in you you just like nine no how can you turn it like what do you get the strength from to turn it down like you're like no thank you i knew that smile was out here too long <laughs> <laughs> i was like he ain't that damn happy right <laughs> it wasn't that funny. it froze yeah it froze that's fine but where do you get the strength from to be it like not nah, like you just turn them down I, I honestly don't know. I guess I'm just different because I always wanted that myself. You know, they be like, yeah, I got homeboys. They might be like, yeah, yeah. Man, white girl, this, you know, yeah, a little white girl. And then when I was in Charlotte, everybody up that way like white girls. So, oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. They love them. They love them. So to hear them, and then they'll, they'll even tell you themselves, like, oh, I don't want no black baby. I want a mixed baby. So, I mean, that's, that's just crazy. me. I, I guess I I'm just different. Yeah, I hear it. I heard it all the time. I'm like, come on, man. And then they'll think that you want to agree with them too. But I'm like, nah, I mean, everybody ain't like that. So do you get flack from that? Like, do you get like a negative response from your guys that you know who do want those? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so they look at you like something wrong with you, even though they know the you, you flavoring. Know, you know, know why they look at me like that? You know why they look at me like that? Because it's another thing I ain't want to get too deep on this. A lot of black men feel like black women, they just all loud. They all ghetto. They all just about money. So they figured the white women ain't that way. But in the end, they raised the same way too. They raised the same way to, to find them so a man. True. Oh, 
Oh man, this thing. This thing is freezing up. We're just talking good. Yeah, I, and we can we can touch on that a little bit. Like when I when I talk to guys, because I'm in my my dating phase, or whatever. When I talk to guys that um that uh do talk about the black women, the loud black women and stuff, you know, are the angry black women. I was like, uh, you kind of gotta go back a little bit. You know why? Like most people, well, some women are raised in like single parent homes and are, are raised off of survival and being self sufficient and stuff like that. Um, I was like, you just got to be a little bit more patient with them, but um, you copping out, like you, you, you taking the easy route to be like, oh, I don't want to deal with a, a, um, a aggressive black woman, like take the time with her to like, you know, we take the time to build, build guys up who ain't where we want them to be, you know, we can meet them on fries at McDonald's and then help them, you know, encourage them to, hey, maybe one day you're going to be the maintenance man. Hey, maybe one day you're going to be the manager. Hey, one day you're gonna you gonna run this place one day, you know. But hell no, nah, like they they be like, nah, she's too angry for me, you know. But that's crazy though. I I always had like found it very odd to see like celebrities, mostly like black rappers or you know black guys that that are in you know sports and all those things. It's always odd to me that they can have such a reverence for their mom. You know, who was a black woman? They have and all they this reverence, thirst. and all, yeah, and all you, all you've seen are black women, and you know they say, all oh, you know, they're loud, they're this and they're that, but you obviously you know that doesn't apply to all black women. Exactly. If you can sit here and say, oh, my mom is the greatest, my sister is this. You have these examples of great black women in your life, but yet you turn around and say oh, I want to, you know, date outside my race because Black women are X, Y, Z. Like, that never made made sense to me. And, you know, I, I just don't get it. Especially, like, also, too, like, with the with um the baby and whatever the girl name is, Danny Lay. I think yeah. that's her name. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like you mentioned, like, of course, I think she said that to get back at the, the girl. But I think what people took an issue to was that, of course, you have songs like Brown Skin Girl, but to me, brown skin girl doesn't doesn't separate dark skin and light skin. Brown skin is we're all brown skin. Like there's in that whole thing, there's no dark skin, there's no light skin, there is no red bone and yellow bone. We're all brown skin. And I think a lot of people took offense to what she said, especially uh, black women, is because we often see it that those type of people they only speak out when it's something like oh, he prefers a yellow bone. Like, we've never seen you say anything positive or, you know, speak out about if we're going through something and people are discriminating against, you know, people in the industry because they have darker skin or whatever the case may be. It's like, you never spoke out against that, but yet you want to make a whole song about being a yellow bone, something that people in your ethnicity don't even use the term. That's something that is used as a term in the Black community. Absolutely. What would make you think that that was okay to say that? Because like he talked, he like, bed, bed pillow talking her and telling her that and stroking her. Yeah, her, uh, and, and, her and, and people here. looking at her, people looking at her sideways. But I feel like people should be looking at the baby him, sideways too. Like him, like, what? Him. Like I, I mean, I, 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 I'm not really into cancel culture like that. But I mean, it don't make me no never mind because one, I really didn't know who she was anyway. I just know that she dated the baby, the baby. So it's like it's never, it never like it's never like a you know, oh, we need to go and cancel her, but. I'm just not gonna listen to her, but um, I feel like you know sometimes it's like we have to look at the actual people that they're with. Like, if are, is he not saying anything? Like, your the dark look your your daughter's mom is a beautiful dark skinned woman. Your daughter is a beautiful child. So how can you just be like, oh, he like I'm yellow bone? And obviously not because you ain't probably been with no yellow bone girl your whole life. You've been dating. <laughs> In it's only when he got money. Family. It's so only when he got money. Anyway. And she talking about yeah, he like him yellow bone. Yeah, he right. He like him yellow bone. Nah, no, he like him stupid. Money, he like him stupid like her because she is just so. I, she she posted a song today talking about oh this was valid. I'm about to listen. I don't like cancel culture because I feel like everybody need their job and everybody need a source of income. So I'm not with <laughs> cancel culture because I know when you go back and look at some of my stuff, I've said some things and I stand on it. You know, but I don't yeah. believe in and, and another thing too. I I know this is kind of off topic too, but another thing too, 
with the whole like what's your preference your preference like do you like darker skin women do you like lighter skin women or you know reverse you know darker men or light skin men like why can't we just like black people like i feel like it's always like if you say even in the black community if you say you date within your race they're gonna ask you well you dating you date black women you date black men do you like dark skin do you like light skin like why can't it just be you like black people like obviously there's different skin tones in every other ethnicity so uh, of course i know it's, it's rooted in a whole bunch of things but it's just like i feel like all the time it's like you have you have to have a preference almost like there's no just i don't think it's that oh, you have, ahead, have a preference. in a perfect world that sounds real nice to just be like i like black people you know i like to keep within my race i think that's a real nice thing but it just it tends that's just I don't know. For me, black men specifically tend to walk the line of colorism for me, especially when it comes to dating, because they all tend to lean towards a light skinned woman. Uh, and that's just and to me, that's just the facts of it all. If you have the same exact features, like you have a dark skinned woman and you have a light skinned woman, they have the same exact features, same exact body type. They look exactly the same. The only difference is their color tone. Nine times out of 10, I truly believe that a black man is going to go for that light skinned woman before she will for that dark skin. And I feel like dark skin women, dark skin women, and like men praising them. I'm not talking about you, Wes. I'm not talking about you, but like you know, praising <laughs> like dark skin and stuff like that. I feel like it's really trendy right now, and that's why you know people are kind of into it. But I just think it's trendy because like what five years ago, nobody was saying this shit. Nobody. And like in a perfect world, I would love to say like people would just be like, I like you know black women. Period. I love all my women. Da -da -da, light skin. Da -da, you know, no preference stuff like that. But for me, especially when it comes to women, they tend to go to the light-skinned women or an exotic look. Right. Yeah, that's so true, Court. Because they 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 put like I think I mentioned this before. People associate different characteristics with those skin tones. Yeah. You know, like now I feel like you know they see lighter women as they're easier to get along with. They're more attractive, or they're X Y Z. A light-skinned man. They're like, oh, he's a pretty boy. Like he he's gonna keep his stuff together. He's gonna dress up nice. He's gonna do this. He's gonna do that. And on the verge, they might see that light skinned guy as weaker. But you know, they see the dark skinned man, he's more masculine. Like, you know, when people see dark skin, they think, oh, he's more masculine, he's strong, he can take care of me. Like, that's how they view a darker skinned man and a darker skinned woman. They view her as, oh, she's strong, she's not gonna take no mess, and she's this and she's that. So it's like, I feel like not everybody but your preference comes from something you know like even though you know some people like okay i just like the way that they look like there's something that's drawing you closer to a darker skin tone than a lighter or what's drawing you closer to a lighter skin than a dark skin tone and i think is we have sometimes um by it uh unconscious bias um regardless uh well regarding skin tones we may not know that we're doing it but we right. are in our minds there's a reason why you have this preference, but we just don't think about it until like we actually sit and think about it. <laughs> right. I just I just experienced that, Whitney. Um, I um, this little dating thing, this dating app. Uh, I I just experienced that the dark skin thing because <laughs> I was like, but I've never even talked to a dark skin guy before. You know, it's always been a brown skin guy. Now I don't talk to light skin men whatsoever i don't talk to mixed people i don't talk to people who got pretty eyes i don't talk to men that got good hair i don't i just <laughs> the reason why i don't do that is because i'm a realistic woman i don't want the competition the, the finer you are the more handsome you are i don't want no problems I, I just that's just my thing and i know most women probably don't think like that but i think like that like what I just don't want those guys. Like I, I, I go for more cornballish, <laughs> nerdy type. You know, I like a man that's got glasses and gonna push him up. You know, because ain't nobody really paying him no attention but me or whatnot. You know, but I don't go for like pretty boys. You know, I, I don't, I don't do that. I, I just, that's just so. But I, I like brown skin guys. I, I think I like brown skin guys. It's just that I've never had like a dark skin guy like try to talk to me like overall you know and then even with the with hair yeah. stuff like dreadheads like i don't want to talk to a dreadhead I, I just <laughs> i don't want to i just don't you know and that's my personal preference i mean i used to do that i used to be real into light-skinned men 
I really did. Okay. But I have a reason for it now that Whitney was <laughs> talking about that. I really do have a reason for it because that's what approached me. Dark skinned men didn't approach me like that. Especially when I was bigger, the most of the people that approached me were either light skinned or outside of my race. Those are the most people that would approach me that would seem interested into me. It wasn't until I got smaller that I started getting like darker skinned men trying to talk to me. Yeah, I'm surprised, I'm somebody, surprised somebody, somebody somewhere doesn't want to agree with that, but I that's that's just what I saw it as. And so that's what I used to lean to. And then I don't know, something opened my eyes one day and I was like, I was tripping. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even know, like you just read y'all know, like sometimes you just like like you said, whoever is like approaching you could be like a certain type of guy that's always approaching you. And you never think because that for a long period of time, like there was only light skinned dudes like approaching me. Like it's just recently, like within the last, I say within the last maybe three years or so, like it's, it's I've had dark, dark skinned dudes um, like will approach me. And like when the first one is kind of like, oh, you know, I ain't never really had no dark skinned guy like approach me, uh, you know, or want to talk to me. So it, it could be something like introducing you to like that. And you don't even realize it, like, you know, all this time it's been one type of guy and then mm -hmm. you kind of have this one. Not that you, like, are discriminating or, you know, have, you know, like, this preference or prejudice, but it just, like, so happens like that sometimes. Well, I'll tell you one thing, and we can go to the next topic. Um, By being yeah. on that date nap, in person, I've never had a Caucasian guy try to talk to me in person. Ever. You know, I haven't. But on that, on this date nap, I'm like, I'm not fulfilling nobody's fantasy. Like, first off, I'm nervous. I'd be scared to talk to Caucasian people anyway. But I'm, and I, I go to their page and I'd be like, uh uh, where the little Confederate flag at? I'd be looking for like Trump stuff. <laughs> like, I'm like, nope, you're not about to trick me. Uh uh, nope. But I just can't do it anyway. I just be, I automatically like swiping to the left. Yeah, the left. Or whatever. Yeah. Wes, I got to commend you though, because you don't really get often, you know, black men who who say like I like black women is my preference and more particularly like chocolate women yeah yeah but like you'll get that yeah, yeah like yeah I'll, I'll date like black women but you know I mean you said you know you don't discriminate but you know they'll be like you know it's a white girl or whoever a different race Asian whoever come up to me like I'm gonna you know talk to them but you I don't know. really get that a lot like, I, I know, because I personally know, of, of course, a lot of guys who, they love Black women. They That's who they date. That's who they want to be with. Um, but to, like, hear somebody say, like, we, I prefer Black women, it's a refresher. So thank you for that. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> protect him at all costs, women. So. Please do. So please right. be good to him. We're protecting no. West, we protect West, West and beyond. Don't come over here with no BS for West. We no right. BS for West. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's go to the fourth question, um, which is uh, tradition.